Let's be honest, having a double chin sucks, doesn't it? I mean, when you're young, it's not something you have to think about. You get up in, in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror as you're getting ready for the day, and you, you see the same slim, somewhat handsome self in the mirror. And then in your 30s, all of a sudden you pop up to 235 pounds, and when you smile, you see two of them rather than one. It doesn't feel good because you, you know that if you can see it, everybody else can too. And it kind of makes you feel maybe a little old or unhealthy. It's, it's not inevitable though, because now I'm nearly 52, I don't have a double chin and I don't weigh 235 pounds. So losing weight is one of the resolutions. But as a man, you have a second option, grow a beard grow a beard. A beard can cover up a lot. In fact, if you're not a handsome guy, growing a beard can make you look more handsome. Or if you are good looking, it'll sharpen your features. If you do it right, if you trim the beard right, if you take care of it on both accounts, that's just a given. But, uh, but it is something you can do. And it's, it's an option that women don't have. So this is an area, this is a field where we have an advantage over women, we can grow a beard. Now, when people get fat, a lot of times they'll wear slimming clothes, right? I don't think it really works that well, but we con ourselves into believing that it does. You can't do that for your face, but you can grow a beard. I'm sorry, ladies, this is where we have the edge. Now, here's, what, here's the question that often pops up. How long would it take me to grow a beard long enough to cover up a double chin? Well, the answer I'm gonna give you is good. Uh, whether your ch double chin is small or whether you're storing just so much fat in your face, it's not even a chin. It's just like a, it's just like a, it's just like a veil that hides your whole neck. You know, have you seen have you seen people store that much fat in their neck? I'm sure you have, um, and, and this is good for that too. Or if you're an older man, you have loose skin hanging underneath here. It's not necessarily double chin, but inevitably that will happen. You're gonna you're gonna have loose hanging skin that kind of you know. Looks like a, a turkey gullet or you know, something like that. But the, the, the question is going to be based on, on the, uh, the presumption that you're wanting to know how long it takes to grow it out from a clean shave. Okay, now this all really depends. Okay, you gotta keep in mind that, that your beard is gonna grow about a half an inch every month. That's if you just do nothing to it. It's gonna grow about a half an inch every month. And it's also gonna depend on how much fat you're storing, okay? Um, as we can see, the whole idea here is to get your beard long enough to go all the way down to the, the base of where the double chin or the stored fat begins uh, from the neckline, okay? From, from, you know, shoulders up. All right, because I've seen people whose who's fat goes all the way down to here, okay? And I've seen some, like mine, back in my 30s. It was, just, it was just right here. So you want your beard to be long enough to drape down below that, all right? Now, I couldn't, with the kind of double chin I had back then, I couldn't uh, wear a beard as short as I have it now. In fact, I had a goatee back then and did absolutely nothing for it. And if you grow a beard and trim it wrong, it's not going to do any, it'll actually make your double chin worse. You know, I'm talking about like these chin strap beards. I don't think anybody should grow those ever. I think they look terrible, but they'll actually reveal more stored fat in your face, subcutaneous fat, than it will hide it. It won't do anything. It'll just make it look worse. I think, I think chin strap beards are just an abomination, personally. But... Um, Anyway, so you want to get your beard long enough to do that. Now, here's the thing. You can probably grow a beard out, growing about half an inch a month. You can probably grow a beard out in about two, like this length right here, about two and a half months. If you want, if you want to crop back from something longer, maybe three months. Uh, but uh, if you have a much longer beard, it could take four months. It could take maybe five months if, if, you're, if your fat goes all the way down to here. And that's kind of extreme, but I'm just trying to tell you, uh, you know, that's the long game. It could even take six months, depending on, on if it goes down that far. But if you have just a normal double chin, where it's just it's just kind of just kind of revealing itself every time you smile, or so on and so forth, I say give it two, three months before you start trimming. But you have to let that neckline go. 
okay? You can't start trimming the neckline too early. You just let it go, let your beard go for two or three months and then start your trim or, or you know, just kind of assess at that point if it's long enough. And then, you know, it's once you see, once you see that uh, the hair is long enough that it drapes below the uh, double chin line, then you can kind of begin to think about trimming. You can either look at my beard trimming tutorials, which I don't have anything specifically for double chins. Maybe I should, uh, but all in all, it, you probably are good with whatever I have. It's just all you have to do is just make sure that's long enough. Um, check your guards before you start hacking away. Well, you shouldn't hack, period, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, but if, you, if you're going to go to a barber to have your, your beard trimmed, make sure you tell them, look, I want this... I want this beard to be kept long enough to where it's hiding uh, the fat that I'm storing in my neck area, okay? Now, if you have it in your face, if you have more fat in your face, it's, your, your beard's automatically gonna cover most of that anyway, but you want some continuity, you want some symmetry. So you're gonna be able to get a good uh, feel for just how long it should be if you let it go for, I'd say, I'd say, guys, at least go three months, at least three months before you begin to even think about trimming anything away. And you might think, well, I don't like the way it feels. It, it makes me makes my skin itchy. It looks a little unclean. Well, the best thing you can do is keep that skin underneath there moisture, uh, moisturized with beard oil or beard butter, or something like that. And, and, and keep running a comb through it. And that will, you know, that will help tame the beard as it's growing out, even, even when it's really short like that. But you have to, you have to, you know, try to keep it healthy from the very beginning. And that's going to make things a lot better. It's gonna give you a better idea. Don't, don't wait until you get that first trim. Start taking care of your beard right away. If you wanna know what I have on my beard this morning, I am using Ardius Man Tinder Box. I just, it's just what I happen to pick out at random. And then I also applied their, their uh, beard butter. So when you put beard oil in, you just put uh, a few drops in your hand because when your beard's really short, you don't need much. Just maybe three drops into your hand, rub it around really good, you know, up to the fingertips and so on and so forth. And then just try to rub it into the skin and then, you know, try to wipe it all over your beard. But, but you really want to get it down to your skin. That'll help the itching. And uh, then when you apply beard butter or beard balm, that'll help lay down some of the strays. Not all together, but it's gonna help tame it a lot. Uh, comb it regularly, brush it, use a boar bristle brush, and you can get all that at Ardius Man. In fact, if you use my code, Greg, uh, well, let me, honestly, at the very moment that I'm making this video, I, I can't think of what the code is. I'll put it on the screen. You're probably looking at it right now, and it'll be in the description also, but you can get 20% off of everything they have there. Uh, but besides all that, just keep in mind that you have to let the beard grow down low enough to go below uh, the stored fat line. Whether you call that a double chin, a gullet, or, or just a fat neck, uh, that's the thing. It's an advantage that we men have over women. You need to capitalize on it. And it's just a, just a great option that we have Thank God for beards. Uh, but even if you don't have a double chin, you may want to think about growing one because beards are just kind of cool. All right? Think about that. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments section below. I'll take a look at them. I'll try to respond to them uh, through, through a video or even um, in the comment thread. Uh, but uh, I'll probably start making more videos on, on answering your questions uh, concerning the beard or even shaving your head. In fact, I shaved my head with Artie's Man products this morning. I didn't bring those out, but uh, I do have a fresh shave, as you can probably tell, because the light is bouncing off my pate. Yeah, pate. That's a, that's a word. That's your head. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is not an English lesson. It's a beard video. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope it meant something to you. Leave your comments, like this video, subscribe, share it with others, and hit the notification bell. I've enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.